full, strong vanilla, sweet vanilla. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a new bottle here in my cask. It's fresh on the market. It's an Elia Craig barrel proof. Most of us will know the Elia Craig 12 years old, which is an excellent full body, full matured Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey from the Heaven Hill distillers which run the Bernheim distillery and uh, which is one of the oldest Kentucky straight bourbons which are uh, which is available in higher volume. This one is the barrel proof which means 46% ABV 128 proof. This is a lot uh, and uh, well if you read the back label uh, then uh, you find out that it's also 12 years old. They do not write it on the front label because the barrel proof is more important than the age for the people who bottle this whiskey. Made in the same tradition as other award-winning Elia Craig bottlings, this is a barrel proof small batch bourbon, bottled straight from the barrel and without chill filtering. That means uh, every batch, every cask will taste slightly different. Um, uh, straight from the barrel and without chill filtering. So it's uh, uncut and unfiltered. And those are the two highest predicates uh, a Kentucky straight bourbon can have. Um, the nose, taste and finish from the 12 years of aging are preserved in their purest form. At barrel proof, water can be added and proof reduced to your liking. I never taste whiskey in that strength. 50% ABV, 100 proof is the maximum, the typical maximum. Well, two to three to five times I have tasted here in front of the camera whiskies with a higher ABV without diluting. Um, yeah, but typically not above 50 because alcohol, the alcohol tears the water out of your cells and you paralyze your tasting butts on your tongue if you uh, drink whiskey with a very high strength. So never do that, it's not good for your tasting buds. At barrel proof, water can be added and <clears throat> enjoy this limited bottling of Elia Craig. I don't know how limited this bottling is in the US. Limiting may be we just ship two containers of it and <laughs> this would be 46 pallets <laughs> each 500 bottles. Uh, so limited, what is small batch? Small batch uh, is from 50 to 200 casks in the US. So I can't tell you how many bottles there are really. There had been an 18 year old Elia Craig on the market and that one was available for more than a decade and then it was gone. Perhaps they filled too many of their casks so that the the stocks fell low um, and they had a 20 year old which was available in very very small numbers here in Europe but it's quite difficult to have them shipped here because the well the demand for aged and expensive Kentucky straight bourbon is not very high in Europe so this bottle is around 60 euros a pounds and in the US I think it's much cheaper. Uh, what's written here in the leaflet? Named after the father of bourbon. Well, Elia Craig was one of the very first uh, starting distilling in the US. This limited release of Elia Craig is bottled without chill filtering, preserving the natural flavors, blah, 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 as we had before. Nah. When you pour this small batch over ice, you may notice some cloudiness. Well, it's still a bad habit uh, to pour this whiskey over ice. Uh, if you drop in temperature, then you reduce the amounts of compounds evaporating from the whiskey. You will smell a fraction of the taste available if you pour it over ice. Don't do that. And if you drink whiskey 
without ice and you do not like it, stop drinking whiskey. It's not your, then you're drinking for the results the whiskey does to your metabolism. Take vodka for that. Aged, old, expensive whiskey has to be savored and sipped at room temperature. That's important for getting all the aromas. Ah, here we were. And since this release is at full barrel proof, you can enjoy the bourbon much the same way our master distiller does when you sample straight from the barrel. No, marketing blur. A master distiller has to taste an awful lot of casks. And I hear my cask uh, taste whiskies and the amount of whiskey I taste from every bottle is so little. Um, and compared to a professional who does that every day for dozens of casks, they can't drink and taste and swallow. No, either they spit it out uh, or they just smell. And they know their whiskies and they are able to smell if it's in the normal range or not. They do not have to taste it, really. Oh. Enjoy. A wonderful dark color. The longer you mature a bourbon in a cask for 12 years, the more color you collect and the more taste you collect from the cask, from the staves of the cask. Full, strong, vanilla, sweet vanilla, caramel, toffee, butterscotch, caramel and vanilla, very smooth. And in the back there is some, some fruitiness, but covered with all this vanilla and caramel. But the fruitiness is is not that sweet. It's it's dry, like oranges or sour apples. Yeah. Preparing for a sip. Forty six percent ABV. I have to add it quite a lot. I will still be close to fifty now. Smoother now, more fruitiness, these apples and oranges coming up, and probably a hint of cinnamon. Yeah. A wonderful, pleasant note. This is the very, very top of bourbon. There's not this. solvent nose which some whiskies have. It's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Some sharpness, like pepper. It's no alcohol, no? Like black pepper. And then the, the sour apples and the dry oranges show up and long. And in the end, mm, showing little mint. Mints and dark chocolate. Oh, this is good. between dry and creamy. Yeah. Typically, I drain this rest 
in a living bottle here, which is never drunk, <laughs> which is sometimes poured away. Uh, but this one, I will keep and drink it tonight. Yeah, I like it very, very much. Thank you for watching. There's more to come. Stay tuned and feel free to add your comments to our whiskey database on whiskey.com.